Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to get your first C++ project up and running in CodeBlocks. So over here, I just opened up CodeBlocks, and this is sort of like the welcome screen that we get when we first open it. You see over here, there's a couple options. Uh, one says create new project, and that's actually what we're going to do. So before we're going to start writing our C++, I'm just going to show you guys how to get a C++ project up and running and uh, ready to go in CodeBlocks. So let's click create new project and this should open up this little window over here. So you'll see there's all these different options and these are essentially just uh, different types of C++ applications that we can create. We're going to just do the bare basics. So you want to come over here and click console application and then just click go. And we're just going to click next. And over here, you'll see we can select between a couple different languages. Uh, we want to click C++. So I'm going to click next and we're just going to give this project a title. So I'm just going to call it draft and you'll see down here, I'm storing it inside of my desktop. If you want to change it, you can come over here and you can put it wherever you want. Let's click next and you'll see over here, we just have a bunch of options. You can just leave these as the default and we're going to click finish. Once we click finish, then our C++ project should have been created. So over here in our little tree viewer, you'll see that we have our C++ project. And down here inside of this sources folder, we have this file main.cpp. And CPP is a file extension that stands for C++. So I'm just gonna right click this and I'm just gonna open it. And you'll see over here, we have a bunch of code that's already been included in this file. So this is essentially just like the most basic C++ file that you can write. I mean, this is uh, what we call like a hello world program. So you'll see down here, it's just printing out hello world onto the screen. And uh, don't really worry too much about what this stuff up here is. Um, really, let's just focus on this line down here. This line is actually going to print something out for us. So if I was to come over here, and I'm actually going to come up here in my editor, and I'm going to click on this build and run option. So when I click this, a window should pop up, and it should basically just say, like, hello world. You'll see down here, this little black window popped up, and it says, hello world. So let's just go over some basic terminology. Um, generally, whenever we're going to run a program in C++, we're going to build the program and then we're going to run the program. Building the program basically means that we're taking all this code over here and we're converting it down into a language that the computer can understand. So the first thing we always have to do is build the file. Then what we want to do is run the file, which basically means we're telling our computer to execute all of the instructions that we wrote in our program. And there's a bunch of different ways we can do that here in CodeBlocks. You can click this little um, cogwheel up here and that'll build your program. And then you can click this play button over here. That's gonna run your program. But a lot of times if you just wrote some new code and you wanna test it out, you can just click this build and run option. And for the most part in this course, we're always just gonna be, whenever I say we're running the program, I'm just gonna click this button and we'll build it and run it at the same time. So like I said, this is a very basic C++ file. In the next tutorial, we're gonna talk about like what all this stuff is. We're gonna look at writing some of our own instructions, maybe modifying these instructions, and we'll kind of dive a little bit deeper into you know just sort of the, the bare basics. But for now, we have everything set up. So we have our C++ project set up. We have our first C++ file called main.cpp, and we're ready to start programming. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.